Hello and welcome to the new Python Pandas tutorial where I am showing you how you can create a function which will help you to create a new column by mapping dictionary values. So many times it happens that you have a lot of external table which you need to map it to your existing data frame and dictionaries are a great way through which you can do that, right? And if you have, let's say, five dictionaries, 10 dictionaries, 15 dictionaries, and all of that, uh, that means it is a repetitive operation or it's a mass operation. Then in that case, you can bring in all the dictionaries and uh, create a function so that you don't have to repeat the same operation again and again. So I want to show you how you can create this new function uh, on this data set, which I have already imported. So the and before that, a quick information that all of these uh, different scenarios related to data frame manipulation is something what I have documented in my book, which is consisted of uh, these 20, 21 different uh, solutions and present in the description of this video. So that should uh, basically help you as a handbook and uh, you can get it via that, uh, via that link. All right. So creating a function to create a new column by mapping dictionary values into the data set. So the way I'm doing this is uh, first of all, importing the pandas, then df.pd.readaxel is basically helping us sales.xls, which is already imported. And if I just write df.head to show you the first few values, it's a very simple, simple uh, superstore sales data set where you have the order, ship, customer information segment, geographical, the information about product, product category, sales, discount, quantity, profits, something, you know, a useful data set where uh, we can run this example. Okay, so we have, let's say a scenario where we have the, we have to give the commission based on the categories, right? If let's say this is a table or earlier in one of those scenarios, what we have covered is you have tax details. So tax details, commission details, all of these things becomes like external and based on the type of the category you are dealing, you know, the value comes. So suppose we have the category column and based on furniture, we have commission, uh, let's say 5% or office supplies is 7%, technology is 12%. These are the values. And how do I know these values? Even you can check that for category. The command for that is df.category dot unique if you run this command you will find the unique values uh, for or what are the values that are in the that is that are in the uh, that is in the category column okay so once we know this uh, what do we know we have the commission details so this is the category underscore com underscore detail is what I am creating and with that, I am saying that furniture is here, how much? 0 0.05. So this, whenever we open these curly bracket, it's a sign that we are creating a dictionary. Within dictionary, you have key and you have value. The key is furniture because that is what it is present in the data set, right? So key is furniture. So first value within the dictionary is key, column and 0 0.05 is 5% is the commission right then comma and we say office supplies and let's say 10 percent right comma we have technology and let's say we say it is 12 percent right so very straightforward and uh, you can see within curly brackets you specify these key value key value key value pair and as much uh, you know, you need, you can specify and uh, create this, this dictionary, right? So with that, once you have created this, what you can do is if you have, let's say one, five, 15, 100 dictionaries like this, if, if, if it is already been supplied to you, right? Or there is a way through which you can also create it. I will try to bring that tutorial also into the description about how you can automatically create the dictionary using the column that is present uh, in the in the data set however for this uh, uh, this tutorial scenario let me go ahead and create that function so that 
The way we create the function is by defining def dic underscore mapping. That means dictionary mapping. And what we are saying is we need row number and dictionary underscore value to provide the um, to provide it for the uh, mapping and then creation of cal column and returning it based on what row number it is. So we have to return the dictionary value, right? And uh, so this is what you have the DIC value. And within that, we specify, sorry, within that, we specify the row number that will basically, based on the row number, it will going to map the uh, dictionary value. So once we have created this, so we will going to now create a new column and uh, we will call it category underscore com, which is commission. We will say df dot, sorry, category dot using the apply function, we will specify the uh, dictionary name dic underscore mapping that is your dictionary and arguments is equals to what you have is uh, what you have is basically the uh, dictionary over here right so you have category underscore com underscore detail and after that you provide a com as part of the syntax and once we execute this come on what happened once we execute this we can run a command df dot hat df dot hat at the end now should have the commission details as per the category we have mapped the how much is the commission that is present for each of these category so that way based on how many number of columns you want to create based you know you can have one you can have five you can have 15 or you can have 100 dictionaries you can keep creating the columns based on the needs. Let's say in your function, when uh, function will be present in your program and whenever you have the need, you just give supply the values rather than, you know, doing a whole together new processing or the you know number of rows that you need to write for the processing. So with that, thank you so much for watching. And uh, as I said, all of this is part of my this book, which is present in the description. The link for that is present in the description that you can get it from there. With that, thank you so much. And I'll meet you in the next video.